I have just unboxed the mini PC. It comes with a mounting bracket. It's power supply, which is a 12 volt, 5 amp DC power supply. And it's two Wi Fi antennas. So here is the mini PC itself. You can see it's very small and lightweight. On the front, you have your power button your four USB 3 ports and two COM ports. So those would be good for connecting a modem or such. And on the back you have your two Wi-Fi where your antennas are going to hook up, your audio, two LAN ports, HDMI, VGA, and your DC 12 volt input. I'm in the dark here a bit because I'm going to be connecting to a projector. I have plugged in a dongle for my mouse. And now I'm going to just power up. You can hear that this is completely silent. And on the back, I'm just going to turn it around now. And I'm going to plug in my HDMI. So now I'm going to turn my projector on. And let's adjust the camera view here to the wall. And there we go. So here is what the computer comes looking like. Although I have installed Firefox, Photoshop, and an antivirus. So everything is in English except for some reason the labels on the hard drives. You can see that the solid state drive has been partitioned into C and D drives. And it comes with Windows 7 Ultimate installed. So you can see here the processor and the 8 gig of RAM and that it is a 64-bit operating system. It is very portable and great for things like hooking up little projectors or connecting to TVs and I'm going to do that as well. I was able to hook the mini PC up to my TV by an HDMI cable. The entire setup was just plugging in the cable and switching my TV to HDMI. And it's on the screen, which is really convenient if you want to do things like teach a program to a group using a TV screen. Right now I'm running Photoshop, and Photoshop actually works really well with the mini PC. And if you feel it, it is warm to the touch but not hot, and that's running a pretty heavy program. Even though this mini PC is well suited to portable use, its dual core processor and 8 gig of RAM enable it to smoothly handle most desktop applications as well. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them for you.